Hey everybody, it's John with JohnLumer.com and John Loomer Digital on Facebook. Here to give you another Facebook tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about how to create a Facebook ad. This uh, I'm doing this again because Facebook advertising has changed. Um, I'm not going to focus on promoted posts today, but instead the, the typical Facebook advertising. So from your news feed, if you've advertised before, uh, you can just click on ads manager otherwise go to facebook.com slash ads slash create and that will take you to the new ad create flow so when you get here so you'll notice it's a little different you can choose the Facebook destination or enter your URL you can always uh, advertise something that's off of Facebook I would recommend you do not that you recommend on your website and if you have a property on your website that you want to promote I would encourage you to create a tab within your Facebook page that, that has the, the exact same information and the reason for that is it's cheaper first of all and second of all it's going to be more effective because people just don't like uh, clicking off of Facebook when they're on Facebook so we're going to create a, a, f a few, you know, go through the different options as if you're creating an ad for your Facebook page. So I'll go ahead and you can just like start typing in the name of your page and it'll bring it up. So keep in mind if you have any questions, you can hover over the, these question marks and it'll tell you exactly, you know, what it is you're looking at. So the first thing, uh, let's just say I'm going to want to promote my page and my options are people will see a new ad about John Loomer Digital which is basically creating an ad from scratch or stories about their friends liking John Loomer Digital. Let me click on that real quick just to get, kind of give you an example. So this is what this is kind of like a, the old page like ad. Um, that's what that's what that would look like. And um, but if if you wanted to create a new ad, you would click that, and that's when it's completely customizable. And um, so you can't obviously change the headline. You can edit the, the copy. You can edit the image and uh, make sure it's something that spreads out across here as much as you can. So you don't have as much, too much white, white space. You can choose a landing page. Uh, so it would be one of your tabs potentially. So that's create, creating a, a kind of an ad from scratch. You can also promote a specific post. Now, Keep in mind, in most cases, if you're going to promote a specific post from this new ad create flow, you should be targeting non-fans. And the reason I say that is because if you're going to target your current fans, you should be using the, um, the, the promoted post option directly from your timeline. That is more effective. It only goes within uh, the timelines. So when you if you're going to create a specific post this is what it looks like over here um this is the thing you can you can either choose a page post or always promote the most recent this is my suggestion unless you post very rarely i would not do most recent a couple of reasons first of all not every post you create is promotion worthy and it's not worth spending money on promoting it so if it's just a, a lame little status update or something uh, so it should be something that's around a business goal of yours that you want to promote whether it's a new product new ebook um, new video you create whatever but uh, the other thing is if you did the always promote most recent post so every time you create a new post it would have to go through Facebook approval so I just don't find that to be very effective all right so that's Again, um, I, I would be promoting, uh, targeting non-fans if you were to do this. Back to creating your own ad. Um, so let's say, let's go to, uh, just, just for fun, we're, we're going to do basically the page like. Um, now the location, keep in mind you can't just promote it everywhere, which is kind of unfortunate. But you can drill down, you can do the United States, you can do individual countries, cities, zip codes. And then around a zip code, if you're, excuse me, around a city within certain miles. Um, here, if you're going to target especially your current fans, but also non-fans, 
what I would do is look into your insights and see where where the your fans, your current fans live. And because that may be a good indicator of where you should be targeting your current advertising. All right, so age, you know, it's really up to you, gender. You might want to create different ads depending on uh, the copy and the imagery you're using. Um, so I'm going to do 25 to 45, women only. Precise interest. So this, for me, this is what I do. I'm like, okay, this is around social media marketing. And social media marketing, and boom, that comes up. Just I just keep typing, that comes up. Best practices, so all these things come up and you can just keep going on and on and on. And then as you keep typing in more, the audience will continue to expand. I mean, look at all these, you can continue to, to pop in there. I'd also put in things like Mashable and anything that's related to social media marketing, types of sites that people would be looking for. And then they give you suggested likes and interests interest as well. You can also target broad categories. Let's say if I want to go business, business and technology and um, small business owners. Keep in mind, when you do that, even though that's broad, basically now what you're doing is you're the broad category and the precise interest. So I generally do one or the other. Uh, going down, again, uh, you know, connect. This, for me personally, in almost all cases, I'm either going to target my current fans or people who aren't fans right now. So in this case, I'm going to say uh, only people not connected. I find that friends of fans is very successful. So I'm going to leave it as friends of connections right now. But you can always create variations of this ad, of this campaign. So keep that in mind, where maybe you're going to hit everybody, not even necessarily um, friends of current fans. There are also some other options here if you want to dig in a little bit more. Um, interested in, keep it, I mess this up one up a lot. Sometimes I think it's, I'm just targeting either all men or women, and then I'm like, oh, I want to target men, not realizing it's actually interested in. So keep in mind, keep that in mind. Relationship status, languages, education, this is a big one, depending on uh, your, your target audience. And where they work. <clears throat> now, now, this is the new, big new one here, the objective. So let's say you want to target people, um, again, non-fans. You're looking, your objective is to get them to like your page. So let's hover over this objective. Set your objective so that your ad or sponsor story will automatically show to the people who are most likely to take the action you want. So be careful with this. I've found that if my objective is like my page, especially outside the U.S., Facebook tends to, no matter what I put up here, Facebook tends to target people who are serial likers who just like everything and add no value to my page. And while it seems awesome at the time, you're getting, uh, you're spending very little per like, I've found that there's no value in those people. So keep that in mind. But you can also, and, and when you do that, it's a pure optimized CPM, which is clicks per thousand impressions, and there is no bidding system. If you do the click on my ad or sponsored story, then you can start bidding on a click by click uh, uh, on a cost per click basis. I'm gonna leave it, leave it on like my page. Name your campaign so so it's something that's memorable to you. Um, again, this is just your campaign. It's it's the campaign itself. It's not the ad itself. We'll get to that later. And I like to set um, lifetime budget. I'll get to more more on that later. But be careful. When you change the lifetime, this automatically changes to 350 for whatever reason. I'm going to change it back to $10. And I like to keep it at a very short period of time. I'm just going to do it a day. And I'm all ready to go. Again, I, I, would, I would have an audience much larger than this. I would put in more interest. But it's just for example purposes. Place the order. All right, so this is our new campaign. Notice uh, this is also the ad that we just created. And I'll probably want to add some identifiers here. Um, I'm going to say US, um, US female, uh, you know, whatever, page like. You know, something that's a, that's a good identifier for you, especially if you're going to do some variations. 
Um, so this little icon here, pending review. So this tends to take tends to take anywhere from 12 to 24 hours, sometimes more, sometimes less. And also depending on when it is you you submit your ad for Facebook to review it and hopefully approve it. Now, if this ad ends up this ad or campaign end up doing very well. I will, like I said before, I just did a, a smaller budget, ten dollars. I'm about to do it five, and this but this uh, campaign will end pretty quickly. But if it does well, I will extend it just by editing in here, and then I'll extend the budget. So it's something to consider there. Um, if I want to do a variation of this, let's say I'm going to just target men instead of women, I'll do create a similar sponsored story, and then I scroll down. I'm going to hit men instead. I want to keep everything else the same. Place order. And that is that. So now we have the second ad in here. Once again, probably going to want to make sure I have an identifier in here so I know what it is. Whoa, look at this. My other ad was already approved. So that was very quick. Um, so now I've got two ads. It's something else to, to consider. If one ad is doing really well after a day, one is not doing well, you can always pause one of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause that one. And that is that. So that's a real quick tutorial on how to create an ad for sponsored story on Facebook. For more tutorials like this one and for more Facebook marketing tips, go to facebook.com slash johnloomerdigital or johnloomer.com. Thanks.